Hello everyone, in this new DAX video we'll see the cross filter function and how to use it. So let's see how it works. Let's start by defining the function and seeing its syntax. Cross filter specifies the cross filtering direction to be used in a calculation for a relationship that exists between two columns. Cross filter accepts three parameters, the left column, right column and the cross filter type which can take one of the following values. The function returns no value, it only sets the cross filtering direction for the indicated relationship. So let's see an example. In this table, we display the year sales amount and the count of products sold by year, which is a measure created using the stand count function. But as you can see, the values are not correct. So let's check the model diagram to understand what happened. As you can see, both product and calendar tables have a single direction relationship with sales table. That's why the number of product is not correct. In fact, the measure is not evaluated between product and calendar tables. The first way to resolve this and get the count of products by year is by turning on bi-directional cross-filtering on the relationship. This will change how filters work for all data between these two tables. So let's change the cross filter to both in the model. Okay, now let's see the result. As you can see, now we have the correct values. Now let's see the second way. But first, let's change the cross filter back to single in the model. The second way consists on creating a measure using cross filter. So let's add a new measure. Here we calculate the distinct number of products and modify the filter context using cross filter. The left column is the product key of the products table. The right column is the product key of the sales table. For the cross filter type, we will set it to both. Now let's add the measure to the visual. As you can see, we have the correct values. Keep in mind that cross filter uses existing relationship in the model, identifying relationships by their ending point columns. If we put another column in place of the one participating in a relationship, an error will return saying that Cross filter can only use the two column references participating in a relationship. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, post them in the comment below. If you like the video, hit the like button, and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. See you in the next video.